What would you do if your lighting console stopped working in the middle of a show? What would you do if you walked into an event, went to boot up your lighting console, and it didn't start? What would you do if a drink, a beverage, went flying onto your console and everything stopped working mid-show or five minutes before doors or something like that? What would you do if there was a roof leak right over your console? And no, that's not fictitious. I've heard of it happening. Actually, the company I worked at uh, years ago had happened once. And you walked in and saw a soaking wet console. What would you do? Well, that's the topic of today. I want to talk all about backups. We've brought the friendly whiteboard with us here today to talk about consoles, backup, what you need to know in order to make a good backup work, and what you want to think about in terms of preparing for a backup. Because when it comes down to it, sure, it's not that often that consoles die and people lose control of their lighting rigs and can't control their stuff. That doesn't happen that often, but it's a single point of failure type of thing that's critical to the event that you're doing because if you can't get control of the lights, you have no control. No matter how much you trust your lighting console, and I trust this Onyx NX4 over here, I love the thing. I think it's great. I think it's going to be really reliable. But what happens if it doesn't start when you walk into the venue? What are you going to do or the company you work for going to do to make it work? Let's discuss. So in terms of backups, I think the first and, and probably easiest thing to talk about quick is what are we having a backup for? Like what types of things could possibly drown our show? And when it comes down to it, I think there's two primary things that we want to have backups for. The first is kind of what I would call the things that we call software failure. I guess I'm going to get to three here now that I think about this. So we've got software failure. I'm sure you can't read that. Then we've got hard where failure now we'll, we'll wrap it up in two and that could be either you know electrical slash console basically it could be the console actually just breaking just hey i've lived a good life i'm done i don't want to boot up today whatever or it could be you know some sort of third party aka you know, lightning, power surge, water, beverage, something like that. It could be, you know, the first one is more about, okay, a console could crash. It could just stop working. The, the software could die. That doesn't happen as much as it used to, but it can. So when we're thinking about this and thinking about our shows, how do we back things up in order to make sure we don't have these kind of failures in our events. And a lot of this, some of this is gonna depend on what console you're using. If you're on a computer, for example, you know, say you're just on a, a PC or a Mac, right, with some sort of software, then, you know, in that case, if you're that person who's just running something small off a laptop, right, then, okay, where can you get an extra laptop? And it might be a good idea to carry with you in your bag a thumb drive or two with your show file and the installer for your software on it. And then maybe you don't worry about having a whole second device with you because if you really had to, you could acquire one somehow. Borrow it from someone else in the event, go run out to like a Best Buy and get something, something like that. Again, this isn't something that happens that often, but if it did, what would you do? In addition to USB drives for anybody doing any sort of events, always put your backup show files, save it, save it somewhere to the cloud, save it to a thumb drive, and then probably save it to another thumb drive. I mean, it depends on the scale of events you do, but it's best to have it with a thumb drive that's not with you, a thumb drive that's with somebody else, thumb drive with you, and to the cloud. So that even if something happens to you, somebody else can come in and be able to run the show. Could be as simple as a backup computer, thumb drive with backup files, things like that. Same thing goes with consoles, right? If I've got this lighting console here, then I can have a whole second lighting console on the truck, wherever, backstage, you know, ready to go. So then the next question comes, should I run my backup? Should I have it plugged in and running actively or not? And, and what is kind of the difference there? Some thoughts on that. I used to always run active backups on every event, which means one of two things, right? In the case of like a console, like say 
you've got a console, we're calling that a console there. Um, say you've got a console and you can network it to a PC, network both of those to your DMX output devices, your nodes, whatever they may be, okay? And, you know, they're all happy on a network together and you're running what's called a tracking backup where depending on what software you're using, you just have them both running the show and if one fails, the other takes over. Now, every console does this differently. For example, you know, Grand MA does tracking backups the best. Onyx doesn't really do tracking backups, but you can run both and just toggle basically. No, they do track, what am I saying? And, and toggle Artnet on and off. So that, you know, if this one goes down, you can hit a hotkey on this one and toggle Artnet. Or if this one, well, this one would be the backup. And, you know, your nodes are going to hold, you know, or your DMX devices are going to hold their last thing typically. So in the couple seconds it takes, you can fire it off on this. Pros and cons of this approach. The pros are that mid-show, if anything happens, you know, you're covered. You've got a backup running. The cons are, though, that this works until it doesn't. <laughs> And what do I mean by that? If you do this, that's great for backing up your show, your event, mid-event, but it's not great if lightning strikes, okay? What if lightning strikes and it only affects the circuit for whatever reason that your lighting console is on? I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it could, right? You know, like I had a friend, actually, a guy I used to work with, he had a show where there was a power outage. There was a storm, power went out for a second, came back on. The audio console didn't. Okay, you know, everything else in the room did except the audio console, right? If it was that, you know, lightning just struck and went down this particular wire instead of others, you know, and I'm not saying that's what happened, but if that's what happened, then his backup probably would have gotten fried when the primary got fried. There's a decent chance of that. Or if it goes through the network, boom, it could do that potentially, right? And so that's one of those things where you say, okay, you know, and, and I did this personally, I stopped doing tracking backups quite some time ago and said, you know what? Tracking backups are great. And when you're doing the Super Bowl, you know, which just happened when I'm recording this, you're doing some other high-end event, you know, having a live backup is a good idea. But then also having a backup that is put away, that is not plugged in, so that if lightning strikes and half the lighting rig and the consoles go out, you can at least control the other half and make it through. Okay, so do think about that. And then in terms of setup, then the second part is there's really two schools of, of thought here. If you're running a full tracking backup where the consoles are both listening to each other, they're connected in a session and they're following each other. If something happens software wise, that's a bug that crashes the software, then it probably will happen on both of them. And I'm not saying that that happens commonly because it, it doesn't, but it's something to think about whether you have your backup tracking fully or whether you just have it online and in a look and ready to go. And if something bad happens, you can turn on the Artnet, take control, and at least have a computer to run your show. And so I think that's the most important thing of all of this is if you're thinking about backup, you're thinking about events you do, just really please do the due diligence for the best of the world of what would happen if you know this console didn't boot because this nx4 that i have right here doesn't boot what am i going to do on a show site where i need to run lighting for this show even if you're working for a company and it's their responsibility it's your job to think about this stuff you know for me i go oh over here right out of view i have an onyx key and i grab this usb key and i stick it in a computer with my show file and sure is it as good of a show as if I had all of my faders and was you know, running things along with all my faders, all my buttons? No. But could I run a show? Yeah, yeah, good, right? Even with basic hardware like an NX Touch or an NXP, right? And so, you know, the biggest thing I think with backups is just to think about, okay, what helps me back up the show in the moment? But also, what helps you back up the show if while you're on site, you come in one morning, you flick on the one console and it doesn't start? Do you have some sort of a backup? Do you have a PC or something else? Because the worst thing that happens, even in small scale shows, and I've seen this happen multiple times with audio consoles, video switching, or lighting consoles, you know, people start freaking out and scrambling because they walked in, it's an hour until doors open or something like that, and there's a critical piece of equipment that it's not working. Whereas, you can come in, calm, cool, and collected, say, hey guys, my lighting console won't start today, but 
I can run it off my PC, it's not ideal, let's work on getting a backup. Which position would you rather be in? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And hey, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. We teach all kinds of stuff like this to people every day, just how to create great lighting. And if you're in the US and you're looking for lighting gear, then there's no better place to do it than through us, Learn Stage Lighting Gear. Not only do we have lighting, but we keep adding more road cases, gaff tape, audio, and even video. We're getting into all that stuff, and we'd love to help you with anything you need. Give you honest opinions across multiple brands and be able to help you find the right gear for an amazing price, hopefully. Um, we'll see. Feel free to request a quote today. We'd love to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.